Regarding my nebulized meds, I'd also like to keep them in the same spot and do the medication routine in the same location for consistency. That way I have a specific routine that I follow in the morning and in the afternoon and the evening. I keep all my medications that I have to nebulize unless they have to be refrigerated in a box under the coffee table so I can pull them out for easy access. My nebulizers that I use for aerosolized treatments I also keep in a little plastic bowl. After I sterilize them I put them in there and then I just puff away. And once I'm done, I put the nebulizer back under the coffee table so it's out of the way. And I also do my spirometry. The spirometry I do on a daily basis and I blow into the machine and it gives me my FEV1 numbers to make sure that uh, my lung functions are doing well. Ooh, 108 FEV, yeah. And once I'm done with that, I take out my oximeter and check my oxygen level. You can never foam up enough. Living with cystic fibrosis, it's always important to keep your hands clean. Once I'm done doing my nebulizers, I put them in the kitchen, clean them up, put them in a pot, put it on the stove, let it boil for three minutes, and then I let them air dry. Nothing within the CF Windsprint video series should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Jerry Cahill, and contributors to the CF Windsprint video series cannot be held responsible for any damage which may result from using the information on this video without permission of your medical doctor.